Day number one of the show, and I stayed at a Holiday Inn Express last night. This is how you start the show out. The National Farm Machinery Show is held every year in mid-February in Louisville, Kentucky at the Kentucky Exposition Center and it runs for four days, Wednesday through Saturday. So for 2020, those dates were February 12th through the 15th. I recently posted a video of us setting up the show. If you have not seen that, you can go back on my channel and check that video out. Just a 10 minute video of uh, everything that's involved setting up a farm show here. This is my 11th year working the National Farm Machinery Show with Versatile. And of course I worked the show as a Gale rep since 1995. So it's safe to say that I have set up a lot of equipment out in the parking lot and moved it in and out of the show. The show opens every day at 9 a.m. and runs through 6 p.m. But what I like to do is I like to leave the hotel, go to the Cracker Barrel, have breakfast. I get to the show a good hour and a half or so before it starts, and I walk around the show each morning and can check everything out before the crowd gets here. That way I can be back at the Versatile Display by 9 a.m. to do what I need to do. And first things first, you see what Versatile has on display here this year. We have one of the new Nemesis tractors here, a Model 195 with a loader. We we'll also have a Versatile 265 front wheel assist tractor, a Versatile 570 Delta track, and a 25 foot Fury high speed disc. Vermeer is right beside us, so let's walk around the Vermeer display here, check things out. And I really like this self propelled baler, and that is on my wish list of things to videotape in the future. So who knows, maybe this summer I'll work something out. Overall, I will say the show was a success this year. There was a lot of people here. I talked to people nonstop from 9 a.m. even past 6 p.m. And uh, like I said, just a lot of people coming through to talk about versatile tractors. A lot of people coming through to talk to me about my YouTube and so forth. But I kept very busy at this show. So let's walk down the line one more time here from the other side. Of course, Versatile and Farm King, uh, both part of Bueller Industries, we share a lot here. So we'll also take a look at some of the Farm King stuff. And they have another little display just catty corner across from where I was. I've been doing the YouTube thing since 2012. And when I first started doing it, every year I would get a couple people that would come through and maybe say, Hey, uh, watch some of your videos on YouTube. Uh, follow you on Instagram, whatnot. Uh, last year was really busy with people coming in, and this year it was just nonstop. So it's, I've built quite a following here over the years, and uh, it's always good when the people come through and tell you they watch your videos, and they're a big fan. We did something a little different this year. So Versatile made up 300 hats with the Farmhand Mike logo on them and had Versatile on the side of the hat. Um, I talked about that in my Instagram and so forth and talked about it a little bit in my setup video. So every morning uh, when the show started at 9 a.m., we would give away 100 hats. And the hats went quick this year. I got part of that here uh, coming up in the video here, but uh, people were really lined up for these hats. And I never in a million years dreamed of people wanting my autograph, but I autographed probably 80% of those hats. So overall... I think it was a great event we gave away 300 hats uh, 100 hats each day in the first day uh, probably about an hour but uh, Thursday and Friday I think the hats were gone in under a half hour so thanks to everybody who come out and uh, hope you enjoy those hats and another nice thing about the National Farm Machinery Show is every night after the show there is an indoor tractor pull uh, for those of you that don't get to come here, um, a lot of people make a four-day event out of this. They come to the show during the day, go to the tractor pull at night, and then on Saturday, they actually have two pulls. They have an afternoon pull, and then they have the evening championship pull. Some years, I may go to the tractor pull in the evening for at least one night, and I did have some opportunities this year, but um, after I work the show all day and it's over, get back to the hotel, get a shower, go out to eat, and then get rested up for the next day. So there is no tractor pull footage in this video from me. 
there were several other YouTube channels here at the show and uh, got with Big Tractor Power. Of course, him and I are pretty good friends. We talk quite often, but he come through the versatile display there. And uh, he's going to have a video coming up where I talk about the equipment we have on display and so forth. So check out his channel to see that video. And who knows, I may have appeared in a few other people's videos. I'm not sure. There is a lot of farm shows going on around the world, and especially North America. Uh, I'm pretty sure in about every state you can find uh, some indoor shows, some outdoor shows. But as far as I know, the National Farm Machinery Show is the largest indoor farm show in the United States and maybe even North America. Maybe even the world, I don't know. They say talk about that Agritechnica show that's over in Europe, I guess is a pretty big show. I don't know how this compares, but uh, this show does draw quite a crowd. These shows are very expensive for companies till you pay for your booth space, uh, haul your equipment in, uh, get the carpet down, your display set up, uh, machinery washed, manpower and so forth. I don't even know if companies get uh, a good bang for their buck out of these shows, but I do get a lot of messages from people, you know, hey, you guys should be at this show or you should be at that show. There's just a lot of farm shows and it's hard to be at them all, but uh, definitely for an indoor farm show, this is a great show to be at, and for an outdoor farm show, uh, Farm Progress Show, which is held uh, last week of August generally, or the week before Labor Day, and that bounces back and forth between uh, Decatur, Illinois, and Boone, Iowa, and of course coming up for 2020, it will be in Boone, Iowa. Well, let's go walk around the show and check everything out. And I believe this is the first time I've seen a piece of Brigo equipment here at the National Farm Machinery Show. See this a lot out in Western Canada and so forth, but not so much here. So let's take a look at this drill. I saw this last week sitting out in the parking lot and I got to walk around it, check it all out when it was folded up out there. This thing's really got my curiosity and I would love to try this thing in some uh, no-till soybeans around home. It would look really good behind a Versatile, wouldn't it? Just like these JM grain carts, they look really good behind a Versatile. And it's getting to be about 9 a.m., so I need to head over to my home base here and get ready to hand out some hats. And of course, JM Manufacturing is out of Fort Recovery, Ohio, which is located about 35 miles north of my house.
There's a couple places upstairs that sell toy tractors here at the show, so I always like to walk up here and check everything out, and believe it or not, this year, I didn't buy anything. And of course, I already have these ones right here. It's always good to see a full type forage harvester here at the National Farm Machinery Show. I really don't know anything about these Dion or Dion forage harvesters here. Is anybody that's watching this video running one of these? I'd like to know about it and if you live close, I'd even like to video one of these out in the field running sometime. Let me know.
And of everything that is at the National Farm Machinery Show, this part right here is probably one of my favorites, this giant 164th farm display. This has been here for the past several years and they change it up a little bit each year, so let's take a walk around it and check it out.
giveaway was a success on Friday. We gave away 100 hats in about 20 minutes. Thanks to everybody who come out. Hope you enjoy your hat. Somebody no. sent me a message and said we're going to be there Friday and my boys oh. just informed me that we will be there at 9 a.m. No, he, he was up at 9. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. I remember you. That's right. Hey, you want to get your picture with him? Here, let's get you your hat first. Tell him we came all the way down here to see him. You want to put it on? Here, you want to stand next to him? Big smile or mommy's going to be upset. I like it. Thank you. Hat? Yes, please. I didn't make it to the tractor pull, but here's a little look of them getting the track ready for Saturday's event. farm show is officially over and it's time to tear down. So as I was driving the versatile nemesis out, these two pretty ladies wanted a ride here, so I gave them a ride out to their car. And that is going to do it for the 2020 National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky. See you next year.